Hi and welcome to our lesson on dividing by 10, 100 and 1000. In this lesson, we will be looking at dividing by 100. When we divide by 100, we move each digit two places to the right. For example, 400 divided by 100. We can place the digits of 400 on a place value grid to see what's happening. To divide by 100, we move each digit two places to the right. Let's start with 4. 1, 2. We have moved the 4 from the hundreds column to the units column. The next two digits follow. So we now have 4.00. If we only have zeros after the decimal point, then we can ignore them. 400 divided by 100 equals 4. Let's look at another example. 527 divided by 100. Again, we'll place the digits on a place value grid. Remember, to divide by 100, we move each digit of 527 two places to the right. We'll start with the 5. 1, 2. We move the 5 to the units column. The next two digits follow. We move the 2 to the tenths column and we move the 7 to the hundredths column. We have 5.27. So 527 divided by 100 equals 5.27. 830 divided by 100. We are dividing by 100, so we will be moving each digit two places to the right. We'll start by moving the 8. 1, 2. We have moved the 8 to the units column. The next two digits follow. We move the 3 to the tenths column and we move the 0 to the hundredths column. We have 8.30. Because there are no other digits after the 0, we can ignore it. 830 divided by 100 equals 8.3. 19 divided by 100. We are dividing by 100, so we are moving each digit two places to the right. Starting with the 1, 1, 2, we have moved the 1 to the tenths column. We move the 9 to the hundredths column. Because there are no digits in front of the decimal point, we write a 0 in the units column. We have 0.19, so 19 divided by 100 equals 0.19. 6 divided by 100. We move the 6 two places to the right. Because there are no digits to the left of the decimal point, we write a 0 in the units column. We have a space in the tenths column with no digits, so we write in a zero. We have 0 0.06. 6 divided by 100 equals 0 0.06. 30.2 divided by 100. We move each digit two places to the right, starting with the 3, 1, 2. We move the 3 to the tenths column, the 0 to the hundredths column, and the 2 to the thousandths column. There aren't any digits in front of the decimal point, so we write in a 0. We have 0.302. 30.2 divided by 100 equals 0.302. 
Starting with the three, we move two places to the right. We move the three to the units column, the eight to the tenths column, and the one to the hundredths column. 381 divided by 100 equals 3.81. Question 2. 49 divided by 100. Starting with the 4, we move two places to the right. We move the 9 to the hundredths column. There are no digits to the left of the decimal point, so we write in a zero. 49 divided by 100 equals 0.49. Question 3. 7.2 divided by 100. Starting with the 7, we move two places to the right. We move the 7 to the hundredths column. We move the 2 to the thousandths column. We write a 0 in the units column and in the tenths column. 7.2 divided by 100 equals 0. Point naught seven two. Question four. Sixty point five divided by one hundred. Starting with the six, we move two places to the right. We move the six to the tenths column. We move the zero to the hundredths column, and the five to the thousandths column. We write a zero in the units column. 60.5 divided by 100 equals 0 0.605. Thank you for watching. If you'd like further practice, more questions are available on our website.